great game. They had uh, they played hard. Um, we could not guard them one on one, and uh, and that caused problems for us. So when you can't contain the ball and give a team uh, good looks, open looks, you, you have the result of what you had tonight. I thought our off our defense affected our offense, and uh, that's something we. We've got to go back and work on, and we got to get better. So as long as we learn from this, it's, it's okay. But if we keep making the same mistakes, um, we're not going to get any better. Questions, please. Holly, how much did you feel like that the start of the second half when they just came, I think, at six of their first seven shots, how much did that put your guys back on their heels, do you feel like? Well, Dan, I think the whole night, um, we, we just, our defense was non-existent. And I think outside of Andrea Carter putting pressure on the ball, we didn't affect them one bit. We were at the mercy of them missing shots. So our defense just, it was non-existent. And you, you can't take a veteran team like UTC and be on their home floor. And, we're, we're not going to outscore anybody. We're not going to outshoot them. We, we've got to get them to turn the ball over and get easy looks, and we didn't do that tonight. You know, it's re remarkable that you all out rebounded from 22. We also had 27 turnovers. So you, 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 you just – you can't have three-second calls, three three-second calls and, and traveling calls. and uh, You just – you can't compete with any team if you have 27 turnovers. It's not, not going to happen. And that, our, like I said, our defense affected our offense. And we just got tomorrow, we just, just go back to work. We'll probably go for two hours just going one on one defense. But we got to get better. Holly, you knew you were coming in here with a young team, but did the start of that game surprise you because of the turnovers? I mean, they were coming from every spot on the floor, not just the freshmen. Well, you know, Maria, I think our. You know, I think we're a little anxious. Sure, I mean, this is this is we're young and I uh, have a new coach, and we're playing in a pretty hostile environment. And but when it comes down to it, it it's you got to take care of business. And, and we didn't. We didn't. Things may not go your way, but you can always get down on the defensive end and play. You can control that. I mean, there was one series we missed four layups in a row right underneath the basket, but the ball didn't go in. But we can always muster up a, a little bit more energy and heart to play defense. That's all of this. Ariel limped off the floor towards the end. Was that her Achilles, or was that just a leg cramp? And do you know anything about her status? I have. I didn't. I didn't see her. I, I have no idea. You don't have much time either. You got one day in Georgia Tech lying in wait at their new arena. You're opening a new arena. Well, how do you get this young team mentally to let this one go and, and move on to the next game? Well, you, you, it, that, that game's, as long as we learn from it, it it's, we're fine. Um, and, and I know they'll, they'll hurt tonight, and then tomorrow we'll, we'll watch tape, and then we'll get back to, the, to uh, the business of getting ready for Georgia Tech. And that's, that's just the nature of this game and, and the nature of our schedule. It's extremely hard, and it, with five new, new players, it's, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. We just got to roll up our sleeves and go back to work. One bright spot, Bashar Graves at times was the best player on the floor. Has she got the chance to be a very special player down the road for you guys? Oh, I think, you know, we, we put Bashar as her first, her first game, and she was, I thought, outstanding. Um, so, yeah, I think she has a great future. Great were you surprised, future. I'm sorry, were you surprised at the intensity of the game? At times it was a little slam bang and uh, people all over the floor. I, that's just... That's just women's basketball. I, I, you know, I, I think basketball is a contact sport, and it's physical. And uh, no, I'm not surprised. I mean, there's two teams trying to win, trying to battle, and that's just the nature of this game. First half, y'all fell behind early. You really got on a run, get back ahead. Second half, once they got ahead, they never trailed again. What was the difference in the second half? Well, we didn't, did we didn't guard anybody. You can't give up 50, I don't, I don't know, 51 points in the second half. And you went in at halftime and you, you talked about 
getting your defensive intensity up and you give up 51 points. It's uh, until our, our defense becomes a priority for us, we're going to struggle. And right now, our defense is not a priority. So, if this is a lesson, I hope this is a great lesson for.